back of my shit, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Is it a hit? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Look at my wrist, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You see my bitch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Loud, and we're here on another episode of Day Discussion. And right now, I have a special rapper in the building. But to me, he's more than just rap, he's an artist. We got my boy Booker Banks in the building. What up, bro? What's up? How you, my guy? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. Not a problem, bro. The pleasure all mine. But we're going to tune into many more topics. Stay tuned. It's your boy Booker Banks. I'm here rocking with the daily discussion. Whole lot of rock star shit. Gang! Good things. Tell me about yourself, man. Like, what made you, like, tell me first about, like, the name Buka. Um, Buka was just a family name I had since forever. Before I had my government name, I had Buka, so it just stuck. Mm. Then it's like, I'm trying to rap. Everybody already know me as Buka, so fuck it. Buka. Right, right, right. And, you know, listen to the song Saucy. Saucy, you know. Was that, was that, Girl was actually your first... The first song? Actually. Yeah, Girl Girl was the first one I ever put out. Uh huh. First one. Okay. And what was the writing process through that? Being that the name was Girl, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was actually the name of the beat. The producer, he's from Bed Style 2. He mm. played me the beat. I didn't even really want to write. I was tired, but they were, all my friends was in the studio. They was making me write. So mm. I just wrote to Girl, and then it was hot, and we just ran <laughs> with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how was shooting the video for it? Um, it was crazy. It was the first video I ever shot too. I was like sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. I had I had Kid the Wiz Jeez. in my video, On Star, Jono. What? I had all everybody waffle. We was just had a lit ass video. Okay, okay, okay. Now explain to me like when you go into the studio, do you have a certain topic that you wanna touch base on once you get to the studio or is it like you know Um It's really the track I got. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I go to the studio and every time it's just a different vibe depending on what I'm recording. Right. So it really depends. Okay, okay. And Saucy is also another song that you, that mm -hmm. you did and you got a yeah. video out for that too. Yeah. What, what made you want to call it Saucy? Um, that was, I just got that feeling from the beat. Mm -hmm. You know, I was writing the hook and it just came to me so I was like, call that shit Saucy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. And. Um, and you from you from Brooklyn, mm -hmm. correct? On which part? Uh, Best Star. Best Star. Okay. And what made you? You know, Brooklyn is known to be like really competitive for mm -hmm. rap. You know what I'm saying? What made you want to go into rap? Be a rapper in Brooklyn? Um, cause I was nice at it. Like mm -hmm. I was just grew up freestyling and rapping against people everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I want to do this. I'm nice at this. Right. And what age did you start rapping? Since I could talk. Since you could so talk. I could talk. Hold on, give me I a was minute. in like elementary school writing. What? Like I just, I started off with just one word and I would just rhyme one word for mad long. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a gift, man. Yeah. That's definitely a gift. And then you just further along the line, like, when did you start, when, when did you start taking rap seriously? Um, I would honestly say like last year. Last this year? is when I really got to take it serious. I really got to do it full time before it was like part time because mm. I was in high school still. Right. So I really couldn't do too much. Okay. So. How did you balance out, you know, music and school at the same time? Um, It was hard. It would be a lot of the times where like, there was nights I would go to the studio and I would have school in the morning, but I would have to like record because somebody would be in town. Mm -hmm. I would just go to school off no sleep. Right. Off no sleep? No sleep. So you like how long how how much sleep would you get like an hour you know <laughs> nah like literally no sleep leave the studio some nights and write to school go right to school right to school the hustle is real man the hustle is real so what kind of you know you said that you want to combine like like trap trap and soul kind of mm -hmm. like what made you want to combine those cer certain genres um, into like one I just feel like nobody's really doing it. Everybody's just going for straight trap or everybody's going for straight this. Like, I just want to hear something different. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. And like when Funkmaster Flex, he obviously, you know, he said, this is what New York sounds like. Mm -hmm. uh, and most likely Saucy was that. Because when I listen to Saucy, that's like something that's, <laughs> that's real New York. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, he, he did that to um Girl. He girl? was like, yeah, Girl. Guarantee. Yeah. But how did how did you feel just listening to like him saying this is this is what New York sound like when he played your song? 
It felt. It didn't even feel real at first. I thought somebody had the aux cord in and they were just playing it. Mm. But I heard them drop a bomb and say my name and it was just crazy. What? Yeah. Wow, man. And did you like ever like thought to yourself like, yo, this must be a dream. Like this must be a dream. <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, I'm getting it. Wow. I'm getting man. it. And you also do performances. Mm-hmm. You know. I, yeah, and, I'm performing a lot. Right. And how how what was your first performance? Do you remember? Damn, my first performance I think was at my own party because I used to like throw parties. Mm. So I, I had a, um, a 16th birthday party mm. and I stood up on the bar and I just started rapping. What? Yeah. And when, how, how was you when, when you did that? I was like 16. 16? I, it was like the day of my birthday. I just turned 16. Okay. And it was mad lit <laughs> that whole night. <laughs> so that was like my first one. Uh huh. And then now you just upgrade. You did a performance at Terminal Five. Yeah, I did the um, Freddie vs. Jason tour with Fab and Kiss. Fab and Kiss, man. Flex was spinning. Lil Kim performed. It was crazy. Wow. Yeah. How did you feel? Did you feel like you had a lot of pressure on you? Um, yeah, but I didn't feel it. I knew it was pressure on me, but I didn't feel it. Mm. Mm-hmm. So. And you know, did you, you met Fab and Jada? Like, do mm-hmm. did you look up to them while you was like, you know, writing yeah. music? Fab and Kiss is. They in my top ten. They in your top ten? Definitely my top ten. That's what's up. That's what's up. I, I highly commend you on that. You know, my opinion is different, but you know, we can talk <laughs> about that later. But um and you said your musical influences is Big L, Outcast, mm-hmm. Eminem, like yeah. you know, those three. Was how long were you listening to them? Damn, like I whenever I, whenever Andre three thousand came out with Hey Y'all, what was that, like two thousand and that was 2003. Two? I know he performed it at the Grammys in 2004 when he came out to Spaceship. I think that was 2003. That was 2000. That's a long I thought time. it was 2004. I remember that, though. That was when I was like, nah, this nigga is... That's it. I want to be like him. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And what, what's, the, what's the Big L out? Big L was like... He was just ill. He's from Harlem and shit. Just... I was. I just started when I started getting into rap. Mm. I just started getting into rap, so right. I kind of did my research and shit. Mm-hmm. Big L was just nasty. Well, okay. I was like, Nah, this nigga's nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And you have also a song with um, Remy Boy Monty. Mm-hmm. Move, move. There we go. And how did that all come about? Um, I saw him on my way to prom, and he told us like one of our tires was flat. Mm. And I, we just exchanged Instagram somehow. We was just chopping it up. Mm. And then we was linking like every day. Mm. They took me to Lust and then went back to Fetty's crib. I was there for like two days. So I was just with Fetty's them a crib? lot. Yeah. After Lust. Wow. So it was in summertime. So it was lit. I just, I was with them a lot and shit. We did that song, came out fire. Mm. Yeah. How was it? How was it hanging around them? Like, did you feel like, you know, like this is. Not an open door, but this is like, you know, somewhere near it. Kind of yeah, I, I felt like it was cool just meeting people that's already done it and them being like so humble and cool about it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like they they treated me like I was one of them. So it was love. Right, right, right. And you also have some campaigns, mm-hmm. to, um, like the, suicide campaign. Yeah, the Courage campaign for yeah. suicide and mental health awareness. Right. Explain yeah. to me, like, what made you want to do that? Um, my cousin committed suicide a while back. Mm. So I had tried to build like a campaign around it because mm. I was like, this is an important issue, right. something that's going on. So people should know about this. Right. And I just ran with the campaign. I'm building it up right now. It's in the works and everything. So. OK. And how far are you trying, you willing to go to like prevent suicide? Oh, as far as I can. Music is an outlet. I got a voice, so I'm going to use it. Mm. And you're also working on an EP, mm-hmm. um, you know, are you gonna to touch base on suicide? Like, what topics are you gonna talk about in your EP? I'm talking about a lot of topics. It's I have, you know, I'm juggling around the name, but I'm stuck on soul food because mm. it's just everything I'm made of. So it's I'm so- gonna just give it everything that's inside of me, suicide awareness, and just you know, just everything about me. Right. Trying to give it the full effect, making right. me. And what actually, you know. Like, what story are you trying to tell? Because you're a storyteller, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, with any music. What story are you trying to tell to the world 
that's um, gonna set you aside from other rappers? I want people to know my story, and I just want to just spread a message. Mm. You know, positivity and everything, and also the mental health awareness. Yeah, of course. Definitely that. So I just really, really want to just become an outlet for people. Mm -hmm. And you also performed at South by Southwest. You corrected mm -hmm. me on that, you know, earlier. Um, Tyler Quali was there. Um, yeah, he broke me out yeah. at, a, um, at one of the shows. Yeah, how was it when what you got that got on stage? It was lit. It was that was really like one of my first performances outside of New York. Mm -hmm. So it was a different crowd, and they it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. I seen you was wearing some something different. Yeah, the, like, the checkerboard. You deep into fashion? Yeah, heavy. Love fashion, clothes, everything. Right, right, right. Are you willing to be a fashion designer? Or? Yeah, I, I, I'm planning on getting into fashion design and modeling. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Okay, okay. And how like you are you willing to do other like? fashion designs with other people like you gonna wear other people clothes oh yeah i got i got a lot of just people i want to collaborate with and do stuff with mm. so i definitely definitely want to want to work with some people okay 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 and i know there's a lot of brooklyn rappers out right now right mm -hmm. and let me ask you a question because there's a lot of you know conspiracy going on right now you know what i'm saying with this whole six nine thing that's going on right now <laughs> how do you feel how do you feel about this rapper? Let me know. Young nigga getting money. I ain't got no problem with it. Do your thing. We from the See, same place. I like this guy. He respects other rappers. See? That's that's all. That's all. Because, you know, some people can be disrespectful. Yeah, like, you could do they, whatever you want to do. If you want to, like, do what 6 9 is doing, then do that. If it's making you happy. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't got no problem with it. I respect it, bro. I respect it. That's nothing more than that. And tell us about like a fashion, the fashion show. You also, you're performing. Yeah, or? the um the Philippe Plan show. I got invited to. We went there. Um, they had a pretty good time at that show. Actually, it was a great show. Right. I know um Rich the Kid performed and Six Nine performed. I was with Young Thug and Ao and Tao. It was just a cool experience. Young Thug, you was chilling, you was chilling with Young Thug. Yeah, his his girl was in the show, so he, he pulled up. That's wild, man. You getting you know, it's signs that you just right there at the door, just just yeah. right there, bro. Just like waiting. how do you feel like do you feel like you have like a lot like once you get more exposure, every time you get an exposure, you just feel like you're getting more pressure, more pressure, more pressure, more pressure. Even though it gets more easier down the road or it gets more hard down the road. You do um, you feel like you're getting pressure since you're you are a young age as I feel like yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but like I said, like I don't be feeling pressure because mm -hmm. I try not to let that affect me. I just move on my own, you mm -hmm. know? I'm grounded, so I don't feel it. I just work. Right. And do you, do you feel like, you know, the other people, because you, you say you was in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You was born and raised in Brooklyn? Nah, I was born in Manhattan and raised everywhere. Brooklyn was just home for me. Brooklyn was just home? Yeah. Oh. So you was raised, you was raised in Manhattan. No, nah, I was raised in Queens, Jersey, like everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. How does it feel to travel so much? With I mean, it's cool. I get to experience a lot of things. I'm not, you know, you can't tell where I'm from really heavy. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, I'm, people, everybody know I'm from New York because of the way I talk, but nobody really knows. Like they, you know, you they, they think You're I'm moving. from somewhere else. Yeah, because you're making moves too much. You're just yeah. like, oh, like you, you chill in Brooklyn a lot. But you also chill in Queens, and but you chill in Harlem. You chill, you chill, you chill in Jersey. Like, yeah, it's like I, I'm really not, you know, I'm my own person. Yeah, I'm not affected by any of my environments. Mm. So, do you feel like you want to give back in the future? When oh yeah, of course, definitely want to help New York because I firsthand understand what it's like, mm. and I've seen what it's like for kids right. and everything, and I'm just like, I can help. And, you know, Barclays Center is there in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You know, have you ever performed there or? I played basketball there, but I never rapped there. Where? Yeah. Mm. And, like, do you do you plan on performing there? Oh, of course, definitely. Oh, okay, okay. Definitely okay. going to do that. Hopefully Jay-Z bring me out or something. Right, exactly. We need we need that. You feel me? Right. We need that. And I feel like you probably going to be like, Yo, once you meet Jay-Z, you're going to be like, all right, I made it. <laughs> nah, I... I didn't meet Jay, but like, I was probably like this close from him. 
What? <laughs> Driving past when I was younger. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did it, how did that feel like you was just like right there, like just like yo, I just want to say what's up so I, bad, but I'm not gonna because if I seen Jay Z, I'd be like yo, bro, I, would, I just want to say what's up and just keep walking. <laughs> like that that type of vibe, like like how did you feel like you was just right there, like just? I mean, it was just cool, you know. Mm. I don't really people are people to me. Right, right, right. And explain to me, like you know, your ethnicity. Like, I'm mad shit. I'm Italian, Greek, black. Mm. I'm just, I got to take one of them tests. <laughs> like one of those, um, what's the it called? The ancestry kits. Do you really tell the truth on that, though? I don't know, but <laughs> shit. I'd rather run with some shit that sound accurate. Mm. True, true, true. And like I said, like, once you're in Brooklyn, you know, you create music. Like, how's you being in the studio, like what kind of vibe that you get, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we always good vibes, everywhere. And your producer? Everything. Can't have nobody around me that's not good vibes. Right. So it's just always positivity. And let me ask you, you started rapping when you was in high school, right? Do you feel like a lot of attention was on you? Once they seen you, it was like, oh, you with Young Thug, you with, you with so-and-so, you with this. Do you I feel mean, like there was a lot of attention towards you? Nah, I would come to school and I wouldn't talk to nobody, like, Everybody knew me, but nobody really knew me like they could talk to me. People just knew of me. I was, I've was i always been distant, like, in school and shit, so mm. I was good. I ain't, you know? Right, right, right. And let me ask you, what, since you so deep into fashion, what's your favorite name brand? I really like Her Bayer. Her Bayer? Love Her Bayer. Mm. That's one of my favorites. Probably is my favorite. I like a Mary, too. Mary's fire. What? Yeah. You different, man. Wow, man. I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to bring all this in real quick. You go thrift shopping too? Yeah. Okay. All right. And what other like what other music that you're coming out with right now? Like, um, I got a few things in the works. I got Fresh that's about to come out. I got Yeah Yeah. Mm. I got Hey Little Mama. I just got mad tracks. I'm about to just get out there. And what made you come up with these titles for the song? Just the vibes I got. <laughs> I just be getting these beats, and it's like, this beat reminds me of this, and I get in that bag, mm. and then that's the product. Do you freestyle first, or do you just, like, in the process of writing? Um, Kind of both. Like, I freestyle and tweak it. Mm. And I heard when you perform, you just have the instrumental. Yeah, just the instrumental. Like, you don't go, you don't rap over yourself. You just do nah, straight, straight instrumental. instrumental. How does it feel when you do just your in instrumental when you perform? Um, it's cool. I'm confident enough to where I could do it, you mm. know? So I'm executing it. <laughs> do you listen to your music like every day just to know? Because well, granted you wrote it, mm -hmm. you, but you have so much music that, you know, you, you can go over it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how does it feel when you just study your music and just listen to it daily and consistently throughout the day? Like, that's how you memorize before you perform? I mean, usually, like, by the time I'm done with a song, I got it memorized. Like, I make music I love, so I genuinely love the music, and I already know it by heart. And I just listen to it just for the love of it and just to tweak it. Right. So that's really why I listen to my own shit. Okay, okay, okay. And do you listen to other people's music? Yeah, I listen to what's out. You know? Like, who? Like, you mean? Um... I don't know if I really have a favorite artist out right now, but I've been listening to like XXX Tentacion and He's good. Party Next Door The Weeknd, mm. Young Thug, A Boogie. I listen to all that shit. Listen to A Boogie? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, Boogie, you ever, you ever, you ever performed with him? Because I don't want to... I don't want to say nah. something and then you be like, <laughs> like, yo, I performed with him, like, I'm performing with him next week. I've been to a few of his shows, though, like, just around. Really? I, I mean, I was, he did a show at um, Terminal 5 I was there for. I was backstage with him. Mm. He did a joint when I was playing basketball at, um, damn, another Terminal, Terminal 23, mm -hmm. Michael Jordan's gym yeah. in Midtown. Right. He performed there. I was there for that. Okay. So, was, he cool. That's what's up. Cause you ever watched the um, Netflix show um, Rapture? Yeah, I actually saw his. You saw his? Uh huh. I, I saw. I was looking at it too. It's it's really it's really interesting though. It's really I love. Yeah, the like, show is dope. 
yeah, I love how he's giving giving back to you know the Bronx. I, I respect that. I respect mm. that a lot because we need more rappers, and that's why I respect you for doing the campaign because we need a lot of people to give back. You know, what I'm saying you don't know what other people's going through. You don't know if they're like going through mental illness, poverty, whatever the case might be. It's always good, you know, to give back, and that's what I respect Definitely. you for. You know, what I'm saying so this way, it prevents you, prevent people from. You know, making bad choices, basically. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. I mean, you're making music. You know, definitely dope. Keep going. Appreciate and it. You combine the soul and trap. I mean, that's New York, right? Yeah. All from the soul, all of it. All from the soul. What makes you? What make, because you listen to rock too, right? Mm hmm Like what? What artists you listen to like in rock? My favorite is like Nirvana. Mm. It's like my favorite rock band, but I listen to Avenged Sevenfold, Kiss, just you know all the rock shit. I like old rock shit too, like the Mamas and the Papas. Mm. I like everything. So let me let me get into you, like you know personally. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and I know you're a low key type of person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you just like you you carry yourself, and you're young. So you know what I'm saying? That's always good to carry yourself, being low key. You know what I'm saying? All to yourself. You know, do you always felt like you was unmotivated to do music or was it always there and always consistent? Mm, nah, it was like, it was just something I would do for fun at first. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just writing. Mm. But as I got older, I started to become more professional with it and really mm. learn the game and understand everything, you know? Yeah. And tell me, any future events that you're, that you're planning right now? Um, yeah, actually, this Saturday, I got a show at William Patterson, P&B Rock, okay. and then Labor Day, I got a big show with um, 2 Chains in French in the Dominican Republic. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you going to DR? Yeah, going to DR, Labor Day. With French and who? 2 Chains. Titty Boy. Damn, bro. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> bro. That's a big move, boy. How you feel about that? I mean... I don't know. Right now, I'm like, I'm going to be... Smooth. He said, I don't know. <laughs> like, right now, I, I'm the way, however I feel about it right now, I'm not going to feel about it like that by the end of the summer. So I'm like, right now, I'm just taking it in. I'm just... Yeah. I ain't trying to be anxious about it. I'm trying to enjoy myself until it's, you know? Mm. Do you feel like, you know, that's what French Montana, 2 Chains? Like, if you could choose one artist to make a song with, who would it be? Eminem. Yo, this Eminem, man, this, he's, he's a nasty rapper, too, yo. I'm not going to front. It's the GOAT. I kind of think he's he's kind of overrated. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just no, a tad bit. Just a tad bit overrated. <laughs> Don't be mad at me for that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I just feel like he's kind of overrated. Nah, I feel you. How do you feel about, you know, 6 9 Like, just, you know, every every hostility going on. And, and, like, you know, with him being with rainbow hair and stuff like that. Because you have a different personality, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like once you're out there, you know what I'm saying, you're going to carry that different personality, too? Yeah. I'm all for being different. Like, I've always been a loner. So mm -hmm. it's like, I get it. It's like, they're not going to understand them. They don't understand me, so. Why do you feel like they don't understand you? Cause I'm not like them. They not gonna understand shit that's not like them. Mm. Okay, bro. I mean, it was nice meeting you, bro. You too, bro. Thank you for having me. You already know, bro. Always, always, always. And you know the playoffs is here. You know oh yeah, Celtics. You going for the Celtics? I'm always going for the Celtics since day one. Oh man, you going for the Celtics? Always for the Celtics. Celtics is the I'm game. I'm going for H Town, man. You know how that is. You know. Nah. Proud of my boy Chris Paul, you know what I'm saying? How, you know, Kyrie Irving's out, you know that, right? Yeah, I, play, I played against, like, I was playing ball with him when I was young. Like, you was playing ball with Kyrie Irving? Yeah, I was like 13. At 13? 13. I went to his camp in Ohio. What? Yeah. Hold on, let me see, let me see. Let me, let me mark this down real quick. How many years ago was this? That's a good question. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. It was a lot of years ago. Because he was in Cleveland. He was definitely in Cleveland. Yeah, he was definitely in Cleveland. Went there. I was like 13. Wow. Yep. So did you ever always want to be a professional? Like, did you actually take the time to 
be serious in basketball? Or? Yeah, I, I did basketball seriously for like three years. Three years? Yeah, three years of like solid, like every single day. Mm, and you also make music at the same time? Not in the studio, just like, you know. Right. So you yeah. was just basically inspired to play ball and just, you know, take that more seriously than rap? Yeah, because I was like, basketball, I have to do it right now if I'm going to do it. Like, mm. Music I could always come back to. Mm. So I came back to music after my basketball career. Was you planning on going to college? Yeah, I, 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 was, in, I was in um the college of Staten Island for a semester. Mm -hmm. And then I'm planning on transferring. Okay. Oh, you in, you in Staten Island right now? You in college Staten Island right now? No, nah, not right now. I got out. That's why okay. I ain't like that school. What? <laughs> I'm about to do like online classes. What was your major? Uh, business administration. What? Why did you did they have a music program maybe? I don't want a music program. What are they gonna teach me? I mean, yeah. That's true. You're, you're there, so what what else can you just what else can they say? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh no, I don't think you can make it. You know, but you're right there, so but definitely bro, it's a pleasure having you. You know, definitely I'm gonna stay tuned for that E P. Yeah, it's coming soon. You got me on you got me on hell right now. I want to. I want to know what it sounds like because with saucy and girl and move, it just sounds like straight New York. And I respect you for that. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? It. Keep going. Keep sounding like New York. I don't want to hit. Listen, man. I respect your music. Please don't start mumble rap. No, I don't. I don't mumble. All right, bro. I, I need. I need the lyricism back. Like, you know, there's only one Jayco mumble rap that I actually acknowledge. Who? That's Lil Pump. Okay. I was at, I was, See, that's my guy. We, we was at Live together. What? Went to Live, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, He October. said so calm, like, yeah, we went to Live together, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I was with um, Detail, the producer. Uh-huh. And we pulled up to Live. Detail invited him over. We was just... Just chill? Yeah, yeah. You was always there at the right time, bro. I tell you that. <laughs> you was always there at the right time. Perfect attendance. And you're young, too. So it was just like, you know, imagine what you hit, like, 21, 22, 23, and you just, like, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You about to go to DR. Yeah. So you never know, bro. You might get a call, like, yo, we need we need Booker in Dubai. But I'm waiting I, for that call. That's going to be a lit call. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> That's the one. That's a fact, bro. It's going to happen, bro. It's definitely going to happen, bro. But... Yo, it's your boy Lob. Yo, Booker, matter of fact, do a shout out, bro, right there. Yo, shout out to my boy Lob. We just did the interview. We had Booker Banks, rock star. I'm rocking with it. Straight rock star. Plug, you already know, signing out. Lob. Shout out to the plug. I'm back on my shit, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Into the hit, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Look at my wrist, like, yeah, yeah. You see my bitch? Yeah, yeah.